Well, I think when we talk about design at Blue Heron, it's all about a thought process, and it's all about what are we trying to achieve at, at the end. And, and basically what gets us excited is about communicating with people on an emotional level. So I think one of the things that's going to be common to every Blue Heron home is how does it make you feel? Is it going to evoke some sort of emotion when you walk in the front door, when you sit down and relax with your spouse and you hang out with your friends and family? To me, the important common thread is, is how does the home communicate with people and how does it make you feel? And I think that's what we're always striving for, that connectivity and we want people to feel relaxed and a sense of well-being, and we also want a sense of inspiration and excitement. So to me, that's the common thread between Blue Heron Homes. What's up, everybody? It's Anis here, and welcome to La Jolla, California. Today's tour is really exciting. We're situated on this bluff. On my right-hand side, we have the Pacific Ocean, and on my left-hand side, we have this newly constructed modern estate designed and developed by Blue Heron. House features five bedrooms, five full baths, three half baths, 8,878 square feet of interior space built on a 0.2 acre lot with an asking price of $32.5 million. As always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. And I wanna give big thanks to the developer, Blue Heron, and the listing agents, Brett Dickinson and Deborah Greenspan for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now, let's begin. We're going to start our tour on the exterior, beautiful modern design, two car garage on the right hand side. This is a four story structure and we have the top three floors above grade. On the exterior we have smooth stucco complemented with this heat treated ash wood cladding that we're going to see both on the outside and the inside of this property. Right here we have the center tower design that looks super cool and this is actually where we have the staircase located going all four levels. Lastly, I'm currently on a bridge right now because down below me we have a stunning courtyard area with a 26 foot waterfall and this section essentially serves as a light tunnel bringing natural light to the lower part of this home. Now coming back here we have the steps, planter design and the front door right here. Let's go inside. Here we are at the entry, glass pivot door and as soon as you walk in you see the Pacific Ocean and it is literally right in front of you. I mean, this is outstanding. You got this gorgeous pool, motorized sliding glass doors opening up, perfect indoor outdoor continuity, and you can literally see these waves rolling in. People are surfing, having a great time. Sun is up. This is amazing. Mikey, what do you think? Uh, we've, we've been waiting a long time for like a cliffside home on the ocean. Uh, we haven't had one in a while. I know you want to get out there and surf, but maybe we'll see if we can do that tomorrow morning. This is amazing. I mean, your view changes and moves all the time, and it's so engaging. You're so close. You can literally hear the ocean in your entry, in your living room area. Uh, it's something else. This tour is going to be awesome. That's your pool, by the way. We're going to see that more once we go outside. But first, let me take everybody this way. We talked about this on the exterior. Ashwood cladding, it wraps all the way to the interior and we have this door opening up to the office. Beautiful space facing the ocean. We have the marble desk set up right in the center. It looks very sleek and elegant. Built-ins on the back. Nice contrast between this dark back wall and lighter tones throughout. And again, sliding glass doors open up. Your pool is right there. You can literally work here, take a break, jump in your pool, look at your ocean views and come back. This is amazing. I'm going to point out the ocean views in every single room. It's hard not to. And the way they position this house and how they have these seamless 
floor to ceiling, true floor to ceiling, motorized sliding glass doors opening up. Your ocean is literally inside of your room, which is amazing. And let's go this way, Mikey. Of course, this room comes with a pretty good size, full bathroom, long vanity design with two sinks, brush nickel fixtures. I love these awning window designs that they have above. You have your towel rack down below, exterior door opening up to the side of the property and your pool area, which means this bathroom also serves as your pool bathroom. And we have this last door here opening up where we have the walk-in shower, nice and spacious, brush nickel fixtures. We have this textured tile on this wall, as well as the other side. Your toilet is here, pretty good bathroom. Now let's go back and continue our tour. It's a great room, ocean views throughout. We have the built-in closet here, which means you can also utilize this room as a bedroom as well. Now coming back to the entry on my right-hand side, we have the elevator access on this level. Next door opens up to a powder room. Beautiful fabricated vanity, mirror back wall. You have a round mirror in the center, water closet on this side. And throughout this bathroom, we have nice contrast between the darker marble and the lighter marble where we have the vanity. Now, getting back out, we have the main staircase here. Steel frame goes all four levels, open riser, beautiful solid threads. I love this ashwood cladding again that they brought from the exterior to the interior of this property. You have recessed lights on the walls, lighting up the steps. And lastly, if you look at this property, both from the exterior and the interior, the corner is all glass. That way, staircases naturally lit up throughout all levels. Now, coming back here, we have Italian porcelain tile floors throughout, back at the entry, and right next to that, we have the formal dining room area, stone table right in the center, chandelier above, more of the darker tones, and more importantly, you have all these mirror walls with this bronze tint that gives it that sleek look, but yet you also get reflections of ocean pretty much throughout the entire dining room area, which just, again, elevates your experience as you sit down here, have a meal, hang out with your friends. Now, come in here, we have the living room and the kitchen area. This part of the home is simply amazing. We have these motorized sliding glass doors opening up the corner and opening up this space to the outdoors and your ocean views. It is stunning. We have the seating area here, L-shaped couch, TV on this side with a linear gas fireplace and the stucco exterior wall actually wraps to the interior, creates a nice contrast. And I wanna point out all the furnishings in this house is included with the sale of this home. So. It's the full package, which is awesome. And there's not honestly much to talk about. It's just this incredible indoor outdoor continuity. Your floor tiles continues to the outside. Even the grout lines are matching. You have these seamless tracks on the floors. And coming here, right across, we have the kitchen. But first, I wanna bring everyone here. This is the two car garage on this level. It's pretty spacious. And you have a nice convenient access here. And on top of that, there's a really nice surprise related to this garage on the lower level that we're gonna see in a bit. Now, let's cover the kitchen. Two oversized islands, marble countertops with waterfall edges. And I really like this island because you have bar seating on each side, that way you can either face the kitchen or face the ocean views. We have the second one right here, light tone cabinetry, they match, so there's a nice subtle contrast there. And behind me, we have all these paneled walls, fridge, freezer, pantry space, more built-ins, and you have your espresso machine, microwave, and we have the ovens on the other side. Continuing here, this is your sink with drying rack, beautiful brush nickel fixture, two dishwashers, let's quickly show that. And then right behind me, we have the Wolf 48 inch countertop gas range with a griddle in the center, commercial vent above, same bronze mirror detail is also here as a backsplash that way. As you cook food here, you can literally watch the waves roll in, which is just awesome. Yeah, I really like this house. And if our audience out there remembers, we toured another Blue Heron property in Las Vegas about a year ago. Give or I'd take. Say. Yeah. Uh, and they had some very similar kind of mirror details throughout the house. So if you want to see another really cool modern, but in Las Vegas. Built by Blue Heron. Built by Blue Heron. Also one of the most expensive homes in Las Vegas. Ever sold. Um, yeah. Go to our channel. We'll leave a link in the description for that. Absolutely. And even in that house, they were using mirror details to really capitalize on the views throughout. And same thing here, you can literally see the ocean as you're preparing your meal, which is awesome. 
Let's see, we have the stainless steel finish here, but these are actually cabinets. Push up a button, they go up, and they're actually motorized. Let's see. Nice and easy, right? Very nice. And we have the built-in ovens here, all Wolf appliances, your small wine fridge, and this ash cladding here. Mikey, let's take everybody outside. Yeah. I mean, these views are just so amazing. And you guys may not know this, but I used to be a professional windsurfer for 12 years. I used to basically live in the ocean. Uh, I used to windsurf and surf all the time. This resonates with me so much. This view is incredible because it changes, it moves, it has life. And it is literally awesome to just watch people catch waves and get this ocean breeze coming in. Look at this coastline. And what's so great about this site, in my opinion, is that you're super, super close to the ocean, but you're elevated. It's just a different experience. And that's why you get these incredible view corridors. You're not just getting the beach that's right in front of you. It's amazing. La Jolla is a hilly seaside neighborhood within the city of San Diego, California, occupying seven miles of curving coastline along the Pacific Ocean. The city is surrounded on three sides by ocean bluffs and beaches and is located 12 miles north of San Diego. It's not every week we get to shoot home so close to the ocean, so I was really excited to get out on the water and see the house from that unique perspective. This is Blue Heron's second home in La Jolla and the architectural design was striking on the cliffs over this local surf spot. It had been a while since I had been surfing, so after an hour, I was beat and ready to get back to my lane but I'm so glad I had a chance to see the property from that unique angle. Now, let's continue our tour off of your living room area. You have this outdoor dining area. Right next to that, you have your outdoor kitchen, bar seating, stone clad. We have the sink here, fridge down below, your wolf, gas grill, everything you need. And going this way, we have the rest of the backyard. It looks so inviting. On my right-hand side, we have the sunken seating area with the fire pit, walkway, your outdoor lounging areas. And right in the center of this backyard, we have this pool. It has darker tones throughout, super connected to the property in terms of indoor-outdoor continuity. We have the raised spa here. And continuing our walk, right in front of us, we have this elevated decking, which is another great outdoor space fire pit in the center, amazing views, and turning back towards the house. We're actually right in front of the office area. Your pool nicely curves, and yeah, this house is amazing. Walls of glass opening up. You have smooth stucco, you have wood cladding, and it's definitely contemporary, and it definitely stands out. Yeah, it does. Uh, and I feel like since we've been in La Jolla, we haven't really seen many other properties that are this modern, especially on this ridge line right here. Absolutely, I mean, Blue Heron is paving the wave, they're building these amazing homes. This is their second home here in La Jolla and looks amazing. And on top of that, you're just looking at these breathtaking ocean views. People are surfing, having a good time. I don't know if it gets much better than this. And uh, that wraps our tour on the main level. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the lower level. So pretty much everything about the design of this home is, is how can we engage with the ocean and the view behind me in the most um, impactful ways. So uh, we knew there was going to be a, a fourth dimension, which was going to be this, this basement level. It wasn't going to have an ocean view. So we worked really hard to create an ultra special space underground. It didn't feel like a basement. We wanted to still have the, the great Blue Heron indoor-outdoor relationships and have all the indirect natural sunlight um, like we're always doing with our homes. So a lot of different ways we can kind of use um, what could have been sort of the throwaway part of the house and really make sure that it's just as special and, and, and engaging as the rest of the property. Here we are on the lower level. Staircase comes down. There's a nice Zen garden or this rock landscape design kind of resembles the entry bridge. And right in front of us, we have the billiards table, this open space, motorized sliding glass doors open up to the courtyard that we're gonna see in a bit. We have a nice built-in bar seating here, two TVs, and coming to this section, we have the seating area slash your screening room, L-shaped couch, your 165 inch, TV wall with the sound bar and built-in speakers. You have the cold lighting detail above. Nice and intimate space. 
And I said screening room at the beginning because with the push of a button, you can actually close these motorized curtains, get that full blackout effect here, and basically utilize as your mini movie theater, which is awesome. Right across, we have the bar set up, dual elevation, mirror detail up front, you have your bar seating, stone clad throughout, your kitchen sink, and of course it comes with dishwasher, ice maker, fridge, everything you need. And right behind me, we have this wine wall, which serves as a great backdrop, and it can hold up to 400 bottles. So I wanted to point that out. Beautiful space, and I wanna give credit to Blue Heron again for unifying the design elements, assembling an amazing team when it comes to designers, architects, project managers, their own management, and the listing agents, who by the way, for this property are Brett Dickinson and Deborah Greenspan. So I wanna congratulate all of them. I wanna thank them for allowing us to tour their amazing listing, and yeah, property looks incredible. Now, let's continue our tour. We have a really special surprise for you guys. We have this opening. Door on our right hand side opens up to a powder room for this level, darker tones on the walls, floating vanity design with the rocks on the bottom, and we have this really unique vessel sink design. And lastly, we have this door opening up to the lower level garage. We have a McLaren 720S convertible here, and in case you're wondering how this car got in here, this is actually a multi-level, multi-car, car elevator that can hold up to 14,000 pounds, and talking about making the best use of the space, they utilize this lower level area as your car gallery, car garage, and it's awesome. That's pretty awesome, 14,000 pounds. I, I have no idea how much cars even weigh. What do you think this car weighs? Maybe like six, five? Four? Four? So Four? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a sports car, it should be light. Yeah. And uh, you can literally go up and down, change the cars as you want. This is awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's continue our tour. We're gonna go back to the screening room so we can continue our tour on the other side. Again, back to the landing, billiard stable, motorized sliding glass doors open up to the courtyard that we mentioned at the beginning or at the entry of this property. This is such a cool space. You have water all around you. Steps taking you from your billiards area to the junior primary bedroom suite. You have this seating section in the center with a fire pit, three TV walls, natural light coming in, bridge above us, your 26 foot wide waterfall here. It's a nice tranquil space. Yeah, this is really cool. And again, this is this this just kind of screams blue heron to me. It's very similar to the Vegas property. Fire, water, light. Yeah. They love these elements. And again, I just love that even though this was the lower level, they went so much out of their way to create something really unique here. And I think they've accomplished that. Now, Let's go through these sliding glass doors, go straight into the junior primary bedroom. I know this is an interesting route. Uh, we actually have a normal hallway that bridges or brings you from the landing to this bedroom. And this junior primary bedroom suite is extremely spacious. You have the king size bed on the right hand side, nice padded back wall. You have a mood lighting above that and the ceiling mount copper light fixtures, which I personally really like. And then you have your carpet and seating set up. Small wet wire on the corner with a fridge. You have TV on the right hand side with a mirror back wall to kind of amplify the lighting and spaciousness in this room. And let's go through this opening. We have a pocket door here, water closet on our left hand side. And on our right hand side, we have the long vanity design, two sinks, brush nickel fixtures, quartz countertops, and you have this mirror back wall all the way to the ceiling. And in front of that, you have your main mirror with LED lighting. The whole vanity setup here looks very sleek and elegant. And coming to this side, we have the walk-in shower on our right-hand side, marble back wall. There's a nice gentle slope to the drain, built-in bench, and you even have some mirror reflection or this mirror backdrop on your shampoo edge to kind of, again, bring up some of the unique textures because there's actually a sliding glass door here opening up to a small outdoor space located on this level where we have a freestanding tub right in the center, this unique back wall, and this section basically serves as a light well and brings natural air to this amazing bathroom. Now let's continue our tour. We have the walk-in closet here, pretty spacious. And coming back to the bedroom, I actually wanna take everybody back to the main hallway that connects all these bedrooms to the landing of the lower level. On our right-hand side, we have the laundry room, washer, dryer, plenty of cabinetry, you have your sink, even a handheld attached to the left-hand side, which is a great plus. And coming back here, we have the second bedroom on this level. 
This one is also very spacious, king size bed on the left hand side. I love the furnishings, colors and textures that they brought to the space. You have your TV on this side, built in closet there on the corner. And just like the junior primary bedroom, this one also has sliding glass doors opening up to the side of the property where it just brings natural air, great view to look at, and you even have an egress access here. So I wanted to point that out. Lastly, of course, comes with the full bathroom, modern cabinetry with a towel rack on the bottom. Really interesting mirror design here that's attached all the way to the ceiling, LED lighting, and we have another door opening up to a water closet and your walk-in shower. Light tones contrasting nicely against these darker tiles, brush nickel finishes, and lastly, we have an exterior door here because it opens up to an outdoor shower with a rain head, which is another kind of signature blue hair and detail. So I wanted to point that out. I wanted you guys to see it. And that wraps our tour on the lower level. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the second floor. Now we're on the second floor and I just cannot get over it. We have sliding glass doors opening up to the balcony. You'll literally hear the ocean as we come up to your second floor. And this is the view you look at. It's so one of a kind, it's such an experience. You just have this tranquil background noise at any given time, at any part of the property, even at the lower level. And uh, I love it. It's really I nice. Love it. Really nice. We have these like birds flying all over the place. We have like wildlife. We have people surfing out here. Like, View is constantly changing. You have like constant entertainment. You can just sit down and watch people surf. Absolutely. I feel like half of this episode is gonna be about the views. All right, elevator on the second floor landing. We have this door opening up to the first bedroom on this level, located on the left wing. And right in the center, we have this low frame bed setup. That's so awesome. Your views are opened up. We have a Juliet balcony here. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's just like you have ocean right in front of you in every single room. This is awesome. It's incredible, and I really like this bed frame. I've never seen a bed frame like this, or a bed positioned in the middle of a room, but it's kind of like a couch and a bed. It's really cool. Why not? It's all oriented towards the views. You have some built-ins on the right-hand side, motorized sliding glass doors, automatic shades. They even placed a massive picture window here. That way you can kind of see the coastline. It's great, and on top of that, if you look at the other side, your whole bathroom is basically all open. You have these two stone fabricated vanities on each side, separated with this glass that runs all the way to the ceiling. Then in the center, you have a ceiling mount, kind of rectangular, mirror design, brush nickel fixtures, beautiful cabinetry, same Italian porcelain tiles are also here. And of course, on this side, we have the walk-in shower, natural stone back wall, built-in bench. These fixtures look really sleek with this titanium finish. You have some awning windows above, and I just really like how they utilize all the different surface and countertop materials blended in in the shower where we have the tile design and that's the same material as the countertops. Looks great, very spacious. And of course around the corner we have a water closet and your walk-in closet with LED lighting, built-in cabinetry. Just a beautiful bedroom. Now, let's go back so we can continue our tour. Coming back to the landing, right across on the other side, we have the primary bedroom suite. Picture window looking at the bridge off of the entry, and we have this door opening up to the primary bedroom itself. You're welcomed by a seating area here, TV on this side, beautiful furniture, sliding glass doors open up to a balcony dedicated for the primary bedroom, and seamless indoor-outdoor transition. House feels so effortless so light and just so inviting you have glass railing all around and more of these views now let's go to this section it's where we have the bed setup of course king size nice padded back wall in fact you have all these different fabrics and wood claws and textures right behind the bed we have another ash wood detail that wraps into the room you have darker tones your bed is of course positioned towards the views and your bathroom just like the other one is basically all open and integrated into your bedroom we have long vanity design, Amazon pearl, quartzite countertops, two sinks, titanium finish fixtures, your mirror design here, two lights above. And on the other side, we have the same Amazon pearl quartzite on the wall as a backdrop to your freestanding tub. And I just love that freestanding tub is right here to also take advantage of the views. Continuing our tour before, I guess 
let's go to the walk-in shower first. It is definitely very, very spacious. They brought the same course site also here. You have two rain heads, two shower heads, two handhelds, steam feature, and you have a nice corner glass detail here. Even from your shower, you get to enjoy these ocean views. And I said ocean views probably 55,000 times this episode and uh, I'll probably say more. I'm sure if there's probably a good chance it's in the title of the video also. Yeah, also, yeah. very good chance. Um, two water closets, and going in, we have a nice, spacious, and long walk-in closet here. You have all these built-in cabinets, shoe racks, hangers, washer and dryer on my left-hand side, which is always a nice convenience to have, and it continues with the hanger spaces. I mean, it's definitely spacious, and that wraps our tour on this level, we have one more floor left that's right above us, which is the rooftop deck, and it gets the best views in the entire property. So the rooftop level was uh, a lot of fun to design. We like to have um, a variety for people to experience. So um, when you sit in the office, for instance, you know where you're seated and how you look to the ocean is very specific. It's very focused. Once you get up to the rooftop, everything kind of changes and we go from a focused view to a panoramic scenario. So you're looking back at the hills to the east, you're looking down the coast to the north, to the south, straight out to the ocean on the west. It's really a way for us to kind of really open things up. It's no longer about privacy and, and intimate home space. It's about, hey, let's check out any little last piece of this incredible coastline that you didn't see from the rest of the home. All right, last floor, elevator landing on the left and coming to this opening, we have a sliding glass doors opening up to the outdoors and it brings you to your outdoor rooftop deck. And this space is awesome. We have outdoor seating. You have ocean views, you have this bar area slash your barbecue area with dual elevation and then you have this built-in seating here basically out of this concrete frame, space heater above and around the corner we even have a half bathroom dedicated for this level. Coming here, natural stone countertops, again decked on countertops, three pop-up TVs here because why not, it's Blue Heron property and they like to entertain, so we have them. On this side, you have a small fridge sink, your wolf gas grill, and more outdoor views. I mean, Michael, let's take everybody this way. It's such an amazing space. It's partially covered, which is great. You can even enjoy it during bad weather. And then coming here, you have your outdoor seating with a fire pit up front, stainless steel and glass railing throughout. And I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. This is breathtaking. This is why California is so special. I mean, we're located on the bluff, looking down on the ocean. People are surfing, having a great time. And house is amazing. Blue Heron did a phenomenal job. And I cannot wait to see it at dusk. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I wanna congratulate Blue Heron for finishing off this amazing project. House looks incredible, views are breathtaking, and as always, you can find more information about this home in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. I also wanna thank the listing agents, Brett Dickinson and Deborah Greenspan for allowing us to do this tour. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.